Hello Mountain Riders. It's uh, Friday afternoon and we are about to leave for Snowbird, North Carolina for a nice weekend on the west side of the Smokies. Since it's kind of late in the day, we'll be taking the most direct route. We have a dinner reservation to make and uh, not much to see, just a commute. But we're looking forward to uh, getting there on time. We are coming out of Waynesville, and this is US 74, Great Smoky Mountains Expressway, on a Friday afternoon, which looks fairly busy. It'll thin out as we get west. If you're riding south of the Smokies, um, Waynesville, Maggie Valley, uh, Cherokee, Bryson City, all those areas, you'll find yourself on this road. It's just the fastest way to get east to west. You can use US 19, which runs through Maggie Valley and Cherokee off uh, along the foothills of the mountains a little bit more. It's more curvy and everything, but it too would be busy and we just need to save the time here this afternoon. It's, um, it's actually, for a highway, it's uh, actually a pretty road in a lot of the sections. So the uh, Blue Ridge Parkway is one of the roads that connects along the way. So it's a useful one to, uh, to know. If you hop on the parkway and uh, head north, you go over to Maggie Valley. And south, it takes you up to the highest point. We're coming past uh, Bryson City, which is not a city, it's a fairly small town. And uh, traffic is finally starting to lighten up a bit. It's a good thing, it's pretty busy, but then it is a Friday evening and it's a beautiful weekend up here in the mountains. Ball is starting to come in. So. Ultimately, uh, US 74 um, turns to the south to go into the Nanahala Gorge here. Um, we fork off to the north on North Carolina 28. It's going to put us back on four lane for a little while, but there's um, much less traffic this way. Uh, we are headed now towards Robbinsville. This is the way you come if you're headed out to ride the, the Dragon, the Charahala, or any of the other great roads out this way. After about seven or eight miles or so, 28 just suddenly goes from four lane to two lane. And it gets to be a lot more fun. If you continue on this road, it'll lead you uh, all the way out to the North Carolina end of the Dragon. But we're just hopping on a few miles of it and then we're gonna peel off and head over towards Robbinsville. Less traffic, a lot of cops out this afternoon. So far, so good. Sweetwater Road, which is 149. It's going to run us over to uh, to Robbinsville in the town. There are a couple nice uh, views from up here. There's an overlook at the peak, the Stacoa Overlook. It's got some pretty decent views. The Appalachian Trail crosses there, little parking lot. Here we are, Robinsville. 
It's the happening place out here. Well, essentially the only place out here. Pretty small town, few gas stations, grocery store, one big hotel. Um, not a whole lot to speak of, but it stays packed with all the people who come out here to enjoy the area. I think every cop in North Carolina is working this evening. So stop in Robbinsville to get filled up and be ready for tomorrow. All fueled up and from Robbinsville now it's uh, just a little bit more west on uh, Snowbird Road. This is one of three roads that will lead you out to connect to the Charahala Skyway. This one's pretty nice. It's got um, some really curvy sections to it coming up through the woods. smoke from California. Think so? Absolutely. Huh. Yep. But it's nice. Yep. There's the big golden dog.
jumped in and I think Jackie's right. That does look like smoke out there. California fires. Amazing. So we're in the lodge and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. We've been here a few times. It's a great place. Nice dining room. And my favorite location. What you getting? <laughs> Tomorrow we're going to enjoy a ride on the Cherahala Skyway and the Tale of the Dragon, see some waterfalls, and visit some historic places we've not seen before. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and like and share with a friend. So are you glad to be at the Snowbird Lodge? Always. It's a great place. It's good to be back.